I just want to get back and put you in bed. Okay, then go down out of your ear and you have to have. Okay, um. God, what? Chords, man. Okay, anyways. <laughs> the human is complicated. Um. <laughs> because. <laughs> okay, so, like, I've talked about him so much, like, yesterday and today, like, I've been talking about him a lot, thinking about him a lot. I don't like him, but, like, teenagers have hormonal urges, and, like, that, like, is just, I mean, not just teenagers. I like teenagers are the only ones who have, like, hormones and lust. Like, <laughs> no. I mean, ours is a little bit more extreme than everybody else's, but, like, everyone else does have lust. Because otherwise they would be, like, grown-ups with sex and stuff. Grown-ups with sex. Okay, did I just sound like a fucking five-year-old? Yeah, that's... We're, we're doing great. Um. Okay, so... Well, we've had this conversation before. I don't like him, but at the same... Hold on, this is going to bother me. I have to fix something. Sorry. My charger was connected to my phone, but it was, like, not working. So, like, I was, it was just kind of dead weight. And it was really, really, really annoying. So, like, I had to get it off there. So, but I couldn't do that while I was recording because it would have looked, like, really weird and shaky. And, like, I don't want to do that to you guys. So, like, yeah. Anyways, um... I talk really fast sometimes. I don't even realize I'm talking really fast sometimes. Like, right now, we can't. Okay. Um. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, this guy. He's interested in me. I'm... Well, no, he's, in, he's not interested in me, like, relationship-wise. He's just interested in me, like, exploring sexually stuff with me. Like, sex or messing around in other ways. And... Mm, when he first brought that up to me, which was, like, last semester, I think... Or the beginnings of the second semester. But, like, I freaked out. I was like, oh, my God, he's wanting a relationship. I don't want a relationship. Back the fuck away. But then he explained, and he said that he wants a fuck buddy, kind of, sort of, a little bit. And I was kind of like, okay. I mean, not opposed to the idea. The problem is he's hung up on his ex, <sighs> who I know personally, and she's, <sighs> how they even got in a relationship is, I mean, I think yes, because they're both lonely and, like, desperate for love and affection. And, like, he's a very sensitive guy. She's a very, like, <sighs> I don't even know how to explain her, but she's, she's, she's something. Um, <laughs> and so they were in a relationship for a while. He lost his virginity to her. He was all, like in love with her or so he says and she broke it off with him after they had sex because like apparently like she just freaked out over it or something and he like not a, never got over it really and he like talks about it all the time we're together like every time we're together he always brings her up and i'm just kind of like dude like <laughs> okay we may not be wanting to get a relationship together but like if you want to be doing something sexually with me like i don't want you talking about your ex like obviously i just <laughs> <laughs> just think about it dude like really like no like it's kind of the same thing like if you're having sex with someone like do you want them to come or whatever and then just like scream out their ex's name like no like it's the same kind of thing like you don't want you it's the same concept you don't want like your person that you might actually be like sexually intimate with to be talking about their ex all the time like that's just like off-putting and also kind of like weird and like awkward and just like makes me uncomfortable like you know anyways so um i was like a kind of little bit off put by that because he's clearly not over his ex because he's 15 and he lost his virginia last year that means he lost his virginia at 14 which is in my opinion like way too young of an age to like is your virginity at because you're literally just going into puberty like people usually go into puberty at 13 so if it's like maybe a year after he's like going through puberty still like when he first started puberty and then like he's like 
a kid, basically. And, like, you don't have the emotional maturity to, like, handle that kind of thing when you're 14 years fucking years old. Like, that's not... I don't know. And so, like, now he's 15, and, like, he thinks he's all that or whatever, and I'm just kind of like, eh, eh, eh. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's really tall. He honestly, like, I'm the one who actually looks 15, and he's the one who looks 17. He's super tall. He's, like, 6'1", or 6'2". Yeah, and I'm, like, 5'3", and I'm just over here, like, whoop de doo hi. <laughs> like, I'm a tiny little baby face child. <laughs> Um, <laughs> mm, surprisingly, I'm more mature than him. Well, I mean, guess not surprising because I'm two years older than him, but like I look younger than him and I thought I acted younger than him, but apparently I'm more mature than him. Um, anyways, so he wants to like be into like a band and everything, and he was like very front. Well, he wasn't very front about it, but like he was. He's a very quiet person, so, like, it's very hard to, like, understand him sometimes, but, like, surprisingly, he's, like, an open book, despite how quiet he is, and he's extremely sensitive. So, like, when he was interested in me, I could kind of tell, but I just kind of put it off, because, like, I was like, yeah, he's, um, he's, like, not over his ex, obviously, so, like, he's probably just into me, like, sexually, which I ended up being right about, and... <laughs> Um, and I was just kind of was like, mm, maybe. Honestly, I want to say no because A, I don't like him. B, he's not over his ex. C, he's way too immature to like handle that kind of relationship with me, I'm pretty sure. Plus, I don't want to get in a sexual relationship with someone almost as inexperienced as I am. I want to get in a relationship with someone who's experienced first, or at least like if it's purely sexual or an actual relationship, I want it to be with someone who's more mature so that I can like, trust them to take care of me and like not be hurt my first time after my first time i gotta give a shit like i don't care but like i'm pretty sure i've talked about this before already but anyways so my first time i wanted to be with someone who's experienced clean whatever but like so that he can take care of me and like guide me through the process maybe teach me some tricks and stuff so like later on with my next partner i can like you know know my shit and also not be hurt because when you lose your virginity with another virgin like they're just as, as inexperienced to you. Like, they might, like, lose themselves in the throes of passion or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And, like, they might be rough with you and they might hurt you. And, like, if you're a virgin, that would fucking suck. So, I don't want to do that. Like, obviously, when you're not a virgin, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But, like, if you're a virgin, like, it, I want my first time to be, like, nice and gentle and, like, I don't know, like, not hurt. Because someone's inexperienced or someone's a dick. Like, you know, um... So I don't think I would want to get in a sexual relationship with him. But the problem is I'm a hormonal teenager and I have hormonal urges. And sometimes porn is not enough. And I'm just like, well, maybe if like I, like, yeah, I don't know. Like maybe we could make it work because like I sometimes need someone. But then I'm just like, no, Angel, you have to be strong about this. Like, do you really want to be hurt on your first time? No, you have to be sturdy. I don't care about your sexual urges. Like, come on, sweetie. Like, yeah, I gotta be strong about this. And, like, keep saying that. And then also, <sighs> he's so young. I mean, he's only two years younger than me. But, like, I feel like he's, <sighs> he's not over his ex yet. And I feel like if I'm the rebound and then, like, somehow he gets, like, emotionally attached to me, too. Like, then he's gonna have, like, two girls that he's gonna, like, get fucking ruined over because one of them is a total bitch and then i am not ready for a full-on relationship and so like that's just like i feel like i could hurt him and i don't want to do that so <laughs> Ugh. and then also i don't want to be hurt by him like physically on accident or whatever but I also don't want to hurt me. I don't want myself to hurt him emotionally. And then, like, uh, yeah. But then I also am, like, really scared to tell him because, like, I'm afraid that it'll ruin our friendship. And, like, I'll get, like, I don't know, guarded about it. And, like, I don't know. God, being a teenager is so fucking hard. But it's really not. Like, I'm just, like... It's a lot. <laughs> uh, maybe 
once I'm out of high school, it'll get easier. Probably not. <laughs> Great. Um, I mean, it could be worse. Like, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's just weird to have someone attracted to you, first of all, because... <laughs> I'm a potato. I'm a pale ass, ugly ass potato. Like, why would anyone be interested in me? I'm also slightly insane. I have a fucked up family. Um, I have a fucked up past. Like, I suffer mild PTSD. Like, I have a lot of shit going on. Like, why would anyone be interested in me? Like, I don't understand. Like, honestly, I don't even think I'm worthy of the friends that I have. Like, what makes someone attracted to me? I don't understand. Like, I just physically cannot fathom like the idea of someone being like actually like attracted to me but then like it's like maybe it's because like they like they're just thinking with their dick i don't know like it doesn't make any sense to me like i don't i don't, even then i'm not the most attractive person i think like i'm really pale ugly i got like moles and like freckles and like weird places like, my hair is the frizziest ass shit in the entire fucking universe. Um, I have a very baby face, <laughs> as you can clearly see. I always have, like, giant bags under my eyes. Like, I'm a little chubby. Like, I don't really take care of myself that well. I have, like, armpit hair and, like, leg hair and, like, other hair everywhere because, like, I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. Like... I don't understand, like, there's so many better women out there, or girls, I guess, and, like, there's a few guys that you have to do, I'm just, I don't know, I don't understand, like, what, um, well, obviously, there's bound to be someone attracted to you, like, around the world, like, clearly, but, like, I didn't expect to be, like, I don't know. I just, maybe it's my insecurity is just, like, rising up and being, like, why? How? Like, <laughs> I don't. But then also, I have, like, several orders, too, so, like, I'm just kind of, like. <sighs> Which, honestly, I talked about him before, and, like, I'm not attracted to him. But, like, when you're desperate, you're desperate. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> like... <laughs> The fact that I'm thinking about using him, like, it's just fucked up. But then at the same time, like, he's kind of using me too. So, like, no, 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 we're not doing this. We're not doing this. No, 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 no. You're going to be strong. You're not going to, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not hurting anyone else. We're not hurting ourselves. Like, we're good. We are good. I know that this is not a good relationship to start with. So I'm just going to stop thinking about it happening at all. Like, nope, nope. No, 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 And the worst part, okay, I'm probably being like hella fucking TMI over here. But like, okay, so we were cuddling, right? <sighs> this is probably not a good idea with someone you like or someone who likes you, whatever. But we are kind of cuddling because like he laid down and I was kind of like, okay, well, I'm just going to lay down too because like I don't want to be like sitting there awkwardly on the bench while you're laying down to like a cuddle to a bench or whatever and like, we had a moment where, like, my crotch accidentally touched his, and it was kind of, like, awkward, and I moved, right, like, a little bit, and then it was, like, a, it was, it was a moment, okay? It was a moment, definitely, and, uh, uh, yeah, we didn't talk about it. Like, I didn't talk about it, and I didn't mention it, like, I don't think he even noticed. Well, maybe he did notice, but he was, like, too quiet about it, so, like, I didn't notice that he noticed, I don't know. But, like, it was weird. It was a moment. Um, it definitely woke up something inside me <laughs> and um I'm just gonna put it that way and I was kind of like awkwardly like being like go away go away go away I'm so glad I'm not a guy because like oh um let's just put it that way okay <laughs> um but it didn't go away and when I got home I had to like you know <clears throat> some stuff Okay, I'm not proud of it. Um, I mean, it's not like I don't do it every day, but, like, it was the first time that I've actually done it and thought about someone. Like, usually I do it with, like, sound or with porn, but, like, this time I actually did it with nothing and just thinking about someone, and it was kind of weird in the moment, and, like, 
okay. Um, and not to mention, if, like, I didn't, like, think I was that attracted to him, but then I didn't have me when you're attracted to touch, like, that happens, okay. <laughs> like, um, I just say it was quick, though. Like, wow. Okay. Ugh. And can I just say porn has not been working recently? Like, it just has, has not, and I've just kind of been like, well, I mean, I don't understand. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's not, and then that's part of the reason why I've been kind of, like, wondering about entering that kind of relationship with him, but then also at the same time, like, he's so young. Like, I just want to, like, preserve his innocence. Like, he's so adorable. Like, he's so adorable and innocent. Like, I don't want to mess with that. Like, you know? Like, I don't want to do that. Like, and plus, like, there's the thing that, like, he's young and, like, doesn't really know how to, like, handle a girl because he's only been with one. <laughs> and it was, like, when he was 14, so he probably had no fucking clue what was going on the whole time. Aside from, like, the lust and the fucking dating the girl. Okay? Like, you know, I'm just saying. Um. So, like... But I also have urges. Oh, why is it so complicated? Like it's just, I know it's not a good idea, but at the same time, my body's physical need to like, girl, go for it. And I'm just like mentally, I'm like, no. Like I obviously like would not mind having sex, but like with him in particular, like I know it's not a good idea to have a sexual relationship with him. But, at the same time, like, he's even offering, and, like, I'm desperate, so, like, I don't know. <laughs> mm. I just need to, like, get over myself and, like, self-control. I know I have very, very limited supply of self-control, but, like, I need to gather it up, like, gather it up, like, gear up, sweetie, because, like, I'm going to cock-block so hard on myself and him, it'll be the world war three because like that's not happening like we can't we cannot we know no 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 i'm gonna be my own parent in this situation be like no we're not doing that okay yeah no 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 you are not hurting someone else just because you have sexual orders and she's like that's not okay we're good <sighs> but no buts okay we're good <clears throat> okay i got this i got this i just do you know if they have football gear specifically for a woman's crotch? Because I'm going for that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But this is like getting to that point. Like, ugh. Why? Ugh. I hate being a girl. I hate, like, being a human in general. Like, just. Ugh. I was 18. And he was 18. I'm like, he was. I could deal with a conscious mind. And I knew that he was already experienced. And he was okay. Then, yes. But as of right now, we're both minors. He's very inexperienced. I'm inexperienced. Like two inexperienced individuals having sex together as minors is not a good idea. I know that. <sighs> my body does not know that. And my mind knows that. So like we're literally fighting each other and like it's not okay. Like my body just needs to calm the fuck down. Like do I need to take a cold shower? <laughs> I hate taking cold showers. <sighs> literally. Like just... Oh, can I can I bleach, please? I need bleach. I need bleach. I need bleach. Why does this happen? Like, just it, is this everyone or is it just me? Am I the only like one who has this happen to them? Like, just. Ugh. I'm not the only one who has sex orders, duh. But like, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not the only one who like has someone who's attracted to them, but they're not that attracted to them. But then they're like desperate, so like they think they might be able to like have a. It's so complicated. I just. <sighs> You're. <sighs> How do you even explain like this fucking? Ugh. Also, I can't read for some reason. Like, I just cannot read. Also, today, had a fight with my grandma a little bit because I'm very, I was so happy earlier. And then like, I don't know what happened, but some switch happened and I became very agitated. Like, ugh, mood swings and agitated. 
And my grandma came in and she's one of the ones that like really, 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 really pushes my buttons sometimes. And um, she decided to do that inadvertently and started doing like the baby talk thing to my total, which really is fucking weird and annoys me. And I get it, she's older and like it's okay to her, but to me it's really weird also when Vase is in, invades my face. Like it's already creepy enough when she just kind of sits there, but then when she starts talking a baby voice to my turtle while I'm just sitting there trying to fucking read or listen to music or whatever, but then I hear her being like, oh, you're so cute, aren't you? And I'm just like, girl, like, can you please, like, can you get somewhere else? Like, ugh, I really should have... The next time I clean my tank, I'm gonna fucking, like, move it to the living room because as much as I love my turtle, like, if it means my grandma invades my privacy every fucking minute of the fucking day, like, that means that this turtle has to leave my room, okay? I cannot have my grandma invading my privacy every fucking ten minutes. Like, that's not okay to me. Like, it's not, it's not a thing that I'm gonna deal with because, like, I don't want to deal with her. Also, I got super annoyed with her and I was like, I'm, like, I just... Didn't want to have her leave because I knew she'd be like, excuse me, this is my house, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, I sound like such a teenager. Um, in my defense, I am one though, so like, shh. Um, anyways, so she being her, like, was just like, I didn't want to bother her. So like, I was just kind of like, whatever. And then I like, tried to plug in my earphones, but it was still hearing her. And so I was like, whatever. And then so I kind of got up and just like left. And I guess that hurt my grandma's feelings or whatever. And she came out and she was all like, well, fine, if you don't want me in your room, I can just stay out here and be alone. And you guys can just stay in your room together. It's, it's true, you love your turtle more than me. And I was just kind of like, why, where is this coming from? And then, like, I was just kind of, like, ignored her because, like, honestly, like, it's not even worth it trying to explain it to her because she's just going to continue lying at me. So, like, I just kept silent. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be quiet and wait for her to cool fucking down. Um, she doesn't cool down. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it turned into a small spot of yelling that wasn't continued on my side. So, she kind of stopped because, like, what are you just going to keep yelling at nothing? Obviously not. So, <laughs> Well, my grandma, I mean, my mom has done that before, like, but, like, she's not like that, so she doesn't keep yelling at nothing. So, like, she stopped yelling, but then she gave me the silent treatment, and she was complaining about wanting the pizza earlier, and so I was like, well, maybe I can get in her good graces again. And so I, and we had some frozen pizza in the freezer, so, like, I started baking the frozen pizza, and then I was, and I finished it, and I was like, here, grandma, I gotta get your pizza, and she was like, I wanted pizza from Domino's, and I was like, well, this pizza's free for right now, and it's pizza like you got your pizza and it's here and she's like but i wanted pizza from domino's and i was like it's what and then she just continued like messing around with whatever she was doing and was just kind of ignoring me and i was like okay then i'll cut your half and then i'm gonna eat my half by myself because you're being a bitch right now and then so i ate my half drank my water and then i went back to my room and then um I came back out and the pizza that I had for her was still sitting there. So I was like, being the considerate person I am, I put on some tinfoil because I was like, might as well keep it warm for her, right? Um, it probably is still standing there with the tinfoil because you know what she did? She grabbed a frozen dinner. One of those things that she hates. And she grabbed a frozen dinner and she decided to eat that frozen dinner over the pizza that I made specifically for her because she asked for pizza. What is she, five fucking years old? Like, oh. Just lovely. Ah, uh, isn't she lovely? I had that song stuck in my head. It's from Stevie Wonder. If you don't know what that is, then I'm sad for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, the time is almost done, so I'm just gonna go. Bye.